Hey everyone, it's Brett from Hope to Prosper. And I'm here uh, outside of Lake Isabella. And uh, it's a beautiful sunrise. And uh, we're here with my brother and their dogs. And uh, we're going to go hunting this morning for quail. So it should be a fun adventure. Thanks for coming along. And uh, appreciate you watching my channel. All right, thanks a bunch. So today I want to talk about the best retirement advice ever. Uh, I was texting back and forth with my stepdad, Ed about all the big retirement adventures I have planned. And he texted me back some of the best retirement advice I've ever received. And it was just a really simple one-line text. It said, enjoy life while you can. And, you know, my stepdad, he's, uh, he doesn't talk a lot, but what he says is profound and it's wise. And he's in his mid-80s now. And he and my mom, boy, they traveled it up big for the past 20 years. Uh, but now they're starting to slow down. They're mid-80s, so they're moving into the no-go years. You know, some of the big international trips are out of reach for them. And my mom doesn't travel so well these days. Um, you know, she's just getting a little frail. So it's sad for me to watch my folks slow down, but, man, they definitely had their day in the sun. They went to so many cool places that are still on my bucket list, and I hope to see before I get too old to travel. Uh, they've been to Australia and New Zealand. They've been to Peru. They've been everywhere. Um, so anyways, uh, it, it, like I said, it's sad to see him slowing down, but that's life. So let's talk about time and traditions. You know, I just had an amazing trip quail hunting with my brother, Chet, and I hope you're enjoying the footage. We had the most beautiful campsite up on a hill overlooking the valley. Uh, I love this area near Lake Isabella, California, and uh, I don't get there nearly enough. You know, we've hunted there three or four times. Uh, but man, I wish we did it every year. I just love this trip. So camping and hunting with my brothers, it's a tradition. It goes way back to when we were young. And it's not just hunting. Uh, we went camping to go fishing. We went camping to ride motorcycles together. And we went camping to uh, stay at the beach. It's just a tradition we have. And so, and, and we would do some of those trips every year. And now, you know, my brother's got RVs and travel trailers and all that stuff. But there was a time when, you know, we all just had tents or we slept in the back of the pickup truck. And, and it's not so much about the hunting as the time spent together, you know, the conversations you have in the truck when you're scouting around looking for birds uh, or driving to and from the camp. And, you know, this time is precious and None of us take it for granted. We're all fortunate to have each other and have a bunch of brothers. And we're definitely fortunate to have these family traditions that we all share. Next, I want to talk about freedom and autonomy. Um, one of my brothers couldn't make the trip this year. Um, he's hunted with us the same place the last three or four times. And this year he was missing, which was a big loss. Uh, he had the vacation day scheduled at work. But it can't cancel by his boss. I guess he got put on a special project and he couldn't get out of work. And I remember having a job like that uh, that was super demanding. And, you know, I hate to say it, I just certainly don't miss it. And it's not like I'm lazy now that I'm retired. It's more that I enjoy my personal freedom. And my freedom from the demands of a career and a boss and expectations of coworkers. And as my dad would say, I just love being the master of my own day. I wake up and I decide what I want to do. And nobody nobody can overrule that for me. <laughs> so we left on a Thursday. I didn't have to ask my boss or fill out any paperwork for HR. Uh, I just left. I, I told my wife and then and, and I went. And I didn't have to take any calls or answer any emails while I was out on vacation, which for the last 40 years, that's how my life was. I didn't even have a laptop. In fact, we were in an area without cell service and that was just fine with me. You know, I uh, hiked up to the top of a mountain, talked to my wife once a day, and that was that. Uh, didn't miss it at all. Didn't miss my phone ringing. <laughs> and, you know, my brother and I, we even talked about staying an extra day. You know, he said, hey, do you want to stay Monday? And I said, I could stay Monday. I'll just call my wife and let her know. Um, but we came home on Sunday instead. Uh, my brother owns his own business, and he had work piling up. And if he had to take in Monday off, too, uh, it, it would have fragged his whole week. Next, let's talk about living my life, right? And this is what, you know, my stepdad Ed said, live my life. And, I, and I'm, you know, first I, I want to admit that I'm feeling pretty freaking old because I turned 60 this year. 
uh, man, I never thought it would just be 60 all of a sudden. Um, but the truth is, I'm just at the beginning of my retirement journey. You know, only about 8% of people can retire when I did at 58. And yet here I am out here living my best life. And, and I'm pr- feeling pretty fortunate that I can travel and adventure whenever I choose, come home when I choose. Yeah, I feel blessed I can still walk a field for four hours and bust through the brush with my brother. And, uh, you know, heck, I can still ride a mountain bike or paddle out on a surfboard or even climb a mountain. So I'm pretty fortunate right now um, that I'm in good shape and I have the time. And so one thing I'm not doing anymore is sitting at a desk work at work all day while my life slowly passes me by. You know, I, I remember this really clearly uh, in about my mid-50s, just feeling like, oh my God, my time, like the sand is just pouring through the hourglass while I'm sitting here answering emails. And so I'm not doing that anymore. And that's, I think, is the thing I feel most fortunate about. Now I'm doing what I want to do instead of what others expect from me. So my early 60s are precious, and I'm taking full advantage of it. Next, let's talk about my next big adventure. So I'm leaving Monday morning on my Southwest National Parks road trip. Um, So um, that's going to be epic. Uh, I'm going through New Mexico, uh, Arizona, Texas, and I'm going to see five national parks I've already told you about. And so I am really looking forward to that. I'm blasting off on Monday, so in a couple days I'm out of here. And so I won't be putting out a a YouTube video for next week, uh, but I'll try and put something together when I get back. The good news is I should have some really great footage from these five national parks to use in my next five videos. At least that's my plan. So I'm really looking forward to seeing these places, and I'm looking forward to visiting my sister in Texas. She moved away about three years ago. I haven't seen her place. Uh, she's got nine acres in the hill country, and so that'll be nice. So, so stay tuned. Uh, I also have some fun subjects coming up, and I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so let's wrap it up. The bottom line. The bottom line is that retirement's a blessing when your life is a continuous adventure. And and I don't have to do anything fancy or expensive or extravagant in order to love my life. You know, sitting in a pickup truck or walking through a field with my brother talking about our lives, Mm -hmm. that's an adventure in itself. And uh, it's something that uh, can't be matched by, you know, going to, uh, you know, big resorts or extravagant vacations or doing expensive stuff. Just the simple things sometimes are the best. Mm -hmm. And if we get a couple birds while we're out there hunting, that's a bonus on an already phenomenal weekend. Okay, everyone. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the footage of uh, this beautiful location. And uh, we sure had a great time. We're safe. Got some birds and uh, we're headed home, me and my brother. All right. Thanks. See you next week on our next big adventure. And I wish you all health, happiness, and prosperity.